Local business owners are ready for a fight as the state threatens to hit San Diego County with more restrictions and a slide back into the purple tier over our coronavirus case rate. County leaders will meet tomorrow to look at options and now a cluster of small business owners are expected to rally also. Fox 5's Andrew Nomura has more from one of those organizers. San Diego County is on the verge of falling back to the state's purple tier list this week if the state continues to see a high percentage rate of COVID cases, meaning more restrictions for businesses could be on the way. Knowing the risk, county leaders will discuss potential options on Monday. They live and work here. They know the numbers here and they understand what works for our region. Angie Weber is the owner of Cowboy Star Restaurant in downtown. She and other business owners will hold a rally ahead of the special meeting to urge leaders to defy the state and come up with its own reopening plan. The problem is that when you have these contractions like this, you have businesses that open, they fill you know, their inventories, and then two weeks later, they're shut down again. and. The cost of that is unsurvivable. Last week, Supervisor Jim Desmond and Nathan Fletcher were at odds, both taking to social media. Desmond throwing out the idea of defying the state rules. Fletcher saying in part, we are in a battle against the coronavirus, not the state of California. For Weber, she fears losing her restaurant for good. We won't be able to operate. We won't have any income coming in. So the dominoes will start to fall. Houses will be gone. Downs. You know, livelihoods lost and a greater unemployment number. Well, we will know if the county will be forced to move back to the purple tour list on Tuesday. That we mean business rally will be at four o'clock tomorrow, followed by the Board of Supervisors special meeting at five o'clock. We'll keep you posted on the latest updates on Fox5SanDiego.com. For now, we're here in downtown. I'm Andrew Nomura, Fox 5 News.